Hi guys, this is Vinayesh Sharma and in this session we will discuss what if analysis in Microsoft Excel. What if analysis? Suppose you want to calculate the different type of calculation on the basis of different variables and you want to analyze the different type of result then you can use the what if analysis. Basically, if you need the permutation and combination of some data in that case you can use the what if analysis. What if analysis has three options scenarios, goal seek, and data table. Now, we check the if what if analysis practically. So, in the Excel data, then we have the option what if analysis. In this, we have three options scenario manager, goal seek, and data table. So, first of all, we check the scenario manager. So, as you can see, view example in scenario manager we can create the multiple scenario for the multiple calculation so in this example you can see so in this example you can see we have a different type of material material 1 2 and 3 then cost of material and the unit then the total this is the multiplication of the cost and unit if we check that formula then b3 multiplied by c3 and same for this one the total of this total is that 35,000 and this is our original budget. So we have defined this budget here and we have another formula that is the difference. A10 this one then minus D7. So right now it's a zero. If we if the company purchase the same item same type of unit then there is no difference in the budget. If the company want to purchase the high unit of the material and sometimes want to purchase the low unit of the material then what would be the difference in the budget. That kind of analysis we can do with the what if analysis multiple scenario. So what if analysis then scenario manager and there is a window you can see there is no scenario here. So first of all we add a scenario add and then high high unit so this is the name of the scenario so we can give any kind of name and check in the changing cells because we we have to change the unit sometimes it's a high unit sometimes a low unit so and we select the unit C3, C4 and C5 then we can see it says from C3 to C5 and ok now we have another window and according to the option we selected for the unit then we will have the same number of option for changing the value of the unit. So right now it shows the current value what we have on the example 10 for material 1 then again 10 then 5 for material 3. Suppose it's a high, I say 5, 12 and I make the 8 because this time we want to purchase the high unit of the material then ok now so we have created a scenario and the name of the scenario is the high unit now show, show means analysis or change the unit and then calculate the co total accordingly ok you, so you can observe this is the 15 12 and 8 so because we change this unit number in the scenario 1 and these are the total this formula is already there and now total is the 47,000 original budget was the 35,000 now it's say 12,000 minus it means company has to spend more if the company buy the this number of units with this cost ok we create another scenario add then say low unit and ok say 5 then 4 and say 7 material 1 2 and 3 ok now we have the two scenario we can create the multiple scenario okay high unit and the low unit 
लो यूनिट शो कैलकुलेट नाउ दिस टाइम इफ वी बाय दिस यूनिट फाइव फॉर द मेटल वन फोर फॉर द मेटल टू एंड सेवन फॉर द मेटल थ्री देन वी विल सेव दिस अमाउंट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड बिकॉज ऑरिजिनल वाज द थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड नाउ सेलेक्ट द यूनिट हाई यूनिट शो सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट द मल्टीपल सिनेरियो एंड कैन शो द रिजल्ट फॉर द डिफरेंट सिनेरियो नाउ वी चेक द गोल सी इन दिस ऑप्शन वी कैन सेट ए गोल एंड कैन अचीव ए वैल्यू ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट गोल सो वी हैव एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट ऑफ एग्जाम्पल इज अ क्लब इन द क्लब वी हैव एडमिशन फीस दैट इज द फोर हंड्रेड टेन फी पर पर्सन वन सिक्सटी एंड नंबर ऑफ पर्सन इज ब्लैंक दैन टोटल बजट इट्स ए फोर हंड्रेड दैट इज द फार्मूला सी टू प्लस सी थ्री दैन मल्टीप्लाई बाई सी फोर दैट इज द ब्लैंक नाउ we have to calculate how many number of person we can invite within this budget so this is our goal now goal seek and set cell that is the c5 you have to make sure the reference of the cell must contain a formula that's why we have the c5 because we have a formula on the c5 then two value that is the goal say 400 and changing cell this cell this cell okay now so we can see we can invite the 27.5 percent within this budget so this is the possible value for this budget okay now we check the second, second example We have marks obtained in the English, Math, Science, and Physics. In Physics, there is no marks, and this is our formula. That is the average, average of this one: English, Math, Science, and Physics. Now, right now it is sixty-four, but our goal is a seventy. So we have to get the seventy percentage. Now, we have to analyze how many marks we need for this Physics to get the seventy. So. Select the sixty-four. Uh, that is the formula, average, including this physics. Okay. What if goals seek? Then that is the B fifteen formula. Two value we have to achieve the seventy. Changing cell that is the physics. Okay. Now we can observe. it means we need the 88 marks in physics to get the average of 70 so this is how we can use the goal seek in what if analysis now we check the data table in what if analysis data table is useful when you need to calculate on the multiple figure with the multiple possibilities we have example we have some figures 3000 4000 5000 6000 and we need to calculate the interest rate on this figure 10% 20% 30% 40% and 50% so we have to display the result here 3000 then 10% 20% 30% 40% 50% and same for the 4000 so for this purpose first of all you create a formula anywhere say 10 and any figure Say three hundred. Now, create a formula for calculating the ten percent of three hundred. So, a two multiply by a three, then divide by hundred. So we have a thirty. This is a formula. Now refer this formula in this cell, the first cell. the b2 so equal to and a4 so we can see we have the same figure this one 30 here now select the whole range of this one including the formula and the percentage go to the data what if else then data table now in this window we have two option Row input cell. 
this is the row where we have the number of percentage this is the say 10 20 30 so this is was the a2 now a2 this is the row we have the percentage second one second option column input cell so we have to mention this value 300 because input cell this cell this figure is included this is this figure is part of the formula so we should write here say a 3 okay now we can see 300 that is the 10 percent of 3000 620 percent of 3000 then 930 percent 40 percent and 50 percent and same is for the next row 4000 then 400 800 1200 1600 and 2000 50 percent of this one so this is how we can create the data table with the what if analysis so guys this was all about the what if analysis in the microsoft excel thanks for watching the video